Welcome, 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 and thank you for spending some of your time with us. My name is Tina Rosenquist, and this is Knowledge for Wellness. And this show is to enhance your overall understanding of information provided to you, because when you know more, you are empowered to make better decisions, to enhance yourself and your loved ones for a better quality of life. And knowledge is power. And today's topic is on advanced biomedical technologies with Ed Leffler, owner of Advanced Biomedical Technologies, and Nancy Nelson, a spokesperson for Advanced Biomedical Technologies. And she, of course, herself is very famous and a celebrity here in Minnesota. So welcome, Nancy. Thank you, Tina. How nice of you to have us over. Thank you very much. It's oh, good to be here. And I'm so delighted that you could be on Knowledge for Wells. My Wellness. great pleasure. And also, Mr. Leffler. Thank you for having us, Tina. Thanks for coming back. And what a great guest that you brought, Nancy Nelson. Oh, I'll tell you what, he's the great one. Oh, wow. he, he, he put me back in shape, and I was so afraid that I'd be having surgery and wouldn't ever be in shape again. So he's the great one here. Wow, that's such a great even story oh, right there. Oh, it's true. Yeah. It's true. But we want to kind of, uh, since you haven't been on Knowledge for Wellness before, we'd really love to hear about yourself and a little bit of your history, since you actually are a celebrity, was on Date with Dino. Oh, you're so funny. When you say actually a celebrity, I always have the sense that... Um, in the first place, th th there's nothing but tremendous luck involved in having a lifelong career, and, mm -hmm. and I'm gr grateful for it. But uh, that word celebrity is always uncomfortable. That and $2.69 gets you a loaf of bread at the grocery store. <laughs> so, <laughs> okay. so, But um, I was born and raised in Minneapolis, Minnesota. Uh, went to Minnehaha Elementary, Nokomis Junior High School, Roosevelt High School, and the University of Minnesota. Um, started my first television show that you already mentioned, Date with Dino, mm -hmm. when I was still in high school. I was on the stage at the age of eight. I went on the professional stage uh, two weeks out of high school when Don Stoltz at the Old Log Theater hired me. Okay. Um, oh, golly. Uh, I, I did the pageant routine. I was Miss Minnesota. I, I um, did lots and lots of television shows. Uh, probably the one that was the luckiest for me was at WCCO-TV. Dave Moore had the bedtime news on Saturday night. Bill mm -hmm. Carlson had This Must Be the Place. Okay. And I would come in from the Old Log Theater and get to uh, WCCO, and I was the weather girl uh, in between the bedtime news and This Must Be the Place. And it, it, that was the era of mini skirts and go-go boots. Uh -huh. And I would walk. I know it's. I know. Go and you're coming and back. Okay. Can I ask if you want? And, and I would. And, and, and I would walk across the map on uh, on the floor and stop. And as I would stop, uh, they would shoot my leg and my ankle and the state that I was standing in. So for years, I always said I don't recognize the face, but the ankles are familiar. Um, <laughs> Went on to do a talk show at Channel 11, eventually uh, was fortunate enough to uh, be offered a news anchor position in Los Angeles, at which point I uh, commuted back and forth because my husband was on the air here in um, Minneapolis, Minnesota, so I flew home every Friday night, flew back to work every Sunday night, did that for several years. I'm much younger than I look. I don't recommend that. That's, well, you look quite young. Yeah, yeah, oh, keep it up. Keep okay. it up. That's hard duty. But... Mm -hmm. Um, without question, the uh, the most uh, wonderful, extraordinary, amazing, miraculous thing about my life was that uh, I was married to Bill Carlson, mm -hmm. uh, the television news anchor WCCO TV. Billy and I were married nearly 38 years before I lost him to cancer, mm -hmm. and uh, that is the sum and total, and the best part, and the only part of my life that truly, truly matters. Yeah, and I'm sorry for your loss. I'm so grateful I had him. Yes. I'm so grateful I had him. What a trip. Mm -hmm. What a trip. Uh, and it sounds like you two complement each other quite well. Uh, we were in the same business, and so we were able to, uh, yeah, we understood it. It's mm -hmm. a business that can totally consume you and, and quickly does, mm -hmm. and it's ups and downs, and you're constantly being judged by people you never meet who either think you're absolutely fabulous, which you're not, or think you're absolutely the dreck of the universe, which you're not. Mm -hmm. They adore you or they hate you. There's very little in between, and both of those can be somewhat paralyzing. Yes, I can imagine you take it very personally. I have no complaints. Mm -hmm. Minnesota's been very, very good to us, and uh, I, I, you're looking at one of the most fortunate people you've ever met. Yeah, wow, that's great. 
And you met Mr. Leffler. Talk about fortunate. <laughs> well, my fortune and yours. Yeah. It really, it really was, it was such an interesting, um, I do a radio show on uh, AM 950 on Saturday mornings. Okay. And uh, it uh, turned out that Ed was one of the advertisers on AM 950. And I had a very, very bad fall down the stairs. A fall that years ago wouldn't have made any difference. But I'm a couple years older than I was years ago. <laughs> it may have mattered back then, too. Whoa, wow. uh, I'm telling you, I, 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 I caught my foot, I guess, in the carpeting or something. And by the next day, my knee was like a little basketball and full of water, I guess. Right? Would yes, that have been? It was quite swollen. But, but that's water on the knee? Yes, is that fluid. Way? And I immediately went over to get an MRI, and they said, oh, you haven't completely torn your meniscus, but you have meniscus. I, that's a new word I learned, mm -hmm. too. But you have kind of done things to it. And, and whatever it was I did wasn't good. And the first thing they said was, you've got all this pain because of the water on your knee. We've got to get the water off your knee. Okay. And it turned out I was going to have a business meeting with Ed, about ABT to learn more about yeah. it because I we wanted to learn more about tried it. tried to connect yeah. several times and schedules kept us apart. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I called him and I said, you know that meeting we're going to have tomorrow? I can't because I'm going to have this water drawn off my knee because of the him and him and him. And he said, oh, if you don't mind, please just cancel that and come out and see me first. Oh. And I'm thinking, really? I had a talk to get her to come out. Oh, yeah. Well, she it, was a bit reluctant. You know, I'm, I'm. Uh, you go to the doctor, and the doctor says, "Okay, we'll do this, and we'll poke sure. this, and we'll do that, and mm -hmm. you fix it." And um, that's all we knew. <laughs> for the most part, that's all I still know. Mm -hmm. It is educating me differently. So um, I went out to ABT the next day, and by that time, I really, I probably could have been on crutches because I could barely walk yeah, in. Very difficult. I couldn't hardly put any weight on it, and it <clears throat> hurt so badly. And Ed said, okay, get up on the table. First, I loved how he explained things to me. Oh, yes. And he talked about the fact that um, what I had was muscle damage, and muscle damage can be rectified with what ABT has because of the molecular structure and how you move the molecular structure back into place so you let the muscles do their own work again. Am I close? Close. Close. Good enough. <laughs> Good enough, Nancy. And it's all sounding... All of a sudden, like, this makes total sense. If you have a muscle injury, you've got the inflammation, you've got the, and why not try to put things back into place, which chiropractors do, which surgeons try to do. I've done all of those things at various times, sure. not for my knee, but other things, and none of them have been all that successful. So he said, okay, come in here and get on my table, he said. <laughs> <laughs> and I went in, and um, about 45 minutes later, I, it was so bad, I remember lifting my leg up onto the table and hurt, mm -hmm. and... And, and the machines that you have, um, I'm a layman, so I'm not describing it properly, but it has a cord, and it has what seems to me, it's almost a cylindrical sort well, of... Well, it's an electrode. Yeah, but it's... It's a handheld electrode. Yeah, it, 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 yeah, and literally, he just was doing this. In all the right places. In all the right places. But he was doing this, and I'm thinking, well, this is interesting. Um, and he's explaining to me what's happening as he's going, and then pretty soon you're kind of into it, and then you forget that you lifted your leg up onto the thing, and Ed, at about the end of 45 minutes, said, okay, let's see if we have any difference at all. And I said, okay, and I remember I went and got down up off the table and started walking around the room, and it wasn't until a couple of seconds later I said, wait a minute, I couldn't hardly walk in here. And... Um, it, it, it truly was instantly. I'm, I went from um, an 8 on the pain scale to a 2 on the pain scale instantly mm -hmm. That in that 45-minute period. <coughs> um, my knee was still a little swollen. By the next morning, there was no swelling at all. There was never an appointment made to draw off the fluid with the needles. That mm. was never done. Wow. Um, still hurt a little bit. Mm -hmm. And after this wasn't hurting so badly, it hurt here and here. The it, rest of the injury. The rest of the injury. Mm -hmm. And Ed said, sure, well, this is, was your focus, and your brain was telling you 